EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Martichur with your outlook for September 10th, 2024. It is Tuesday. The Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated. Colder weather will be here before you know it, and it's time to start thinking about freshening up that family room for those Friday nights on the couch, binging your favorite shows, or how about turning that man cave into the colors of your favorite sports team? Let them help you with any interior project this coming winter. They are family-owned and operated with, with over 40 years in business, so you can't go wrong with their exceptional attention to detail and great customer service. Servicing the Southeast PA counties of Montgomery, Bucks, and Chester. Call them now to schedule a free estimate. The phone number above me in the video, 484-571-9233, and mention EPAWA and receive 15% off the total cost of any job that is scheduled between December and March this coming winter. They are Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, proud sponsor of the Tuesday video forecast. So it's going to be a shorter video today because we don't, we don't have a lot to talk about, right? It's going to be a very uh, dry week here locally. Uh, we do have one thing to talk about here, and that is, uh, well, this is today. This is showing uh, just the mostly sunny conditions we're going to be experiencing. The temperatures are going to come up a little bit over the next couple of days, just gradually, progressively increasing as ridging builds in the region. And it's uh, 76 to 82 is the temperature spread today across the region. 80 to 84 is what is going to be on Wednesday. And it's going to keep going from there. Uh, I think Thursday and Friday are very similar. And then Saturday is probably the peak warmth day of this entire seven-day stretch. Uh, but still remaining warm over the weekend, later, later, later in the weekend, Sunday and Monday. But we are expecting dry conditions for that entire seven-day period. So the next thing we're going to be watching for here is uh, what is now Tropical Storm Francine. This is going to become a hurricane before landfall, making landfall west of the New Orleans area in south central Louisiana, most likely. The National Hurricane Center has a very similar path going right across here. It's going to become a hurricane uh, maybe later today, actually. So it might be they're actually projecting by the time we get to 7 p.m. Tuesday. This will be a Category 1 or possibly 2 by the time it makes landfall down here in uh, in south central Louisiana. It will weaken, of course, as it always does. It goes over land, and then it will end up as a depression. Uh, tropical storm over Mississippi, western Mississippi, near Jackson, Mississippi. And uh, once it gets up here to uh, just north of Memphis and up by Paducah, Kentucky, in that area, uh, it's going to kind of stall out, and it's a post-tropical depression. The reason it's doing that, if you missed yesterday's video, is we have ridging moving into our region. It's the same ridging that's responsible for getting our temperatures where they're going to be at, uh, slightly above average for several days in a row. Well, actually, for the remainder of the forecast period after today. Here is the hurricane right down here. This is an upper-level chart here, so you're showing the upper-level uh, uh, anomalies, the 500 millibar anomalies, right? Uh, up at 18,000 feet. So here is where the hurricane is, right there. You see all this ridging, it's to the northeast of here, and it's just starting to build into this point, but it's going to kind of run into that. And you really can't have a hurricane can't run through a ridge. It's not physically possible. There's laws of physics uh, that says no. Uh, huge ridges keeps getting stronger over sub, uh, uh, over eastern Canada here. And the center of that ridge, you go to put a big H right here, is right there. Here is where the hurricane is, or what's left of it. It's deteriorating over the uh, western part, portion of the Tennessee Valley. It cannot run through here. This is a roadblock. So, therefore, we're going to remain high and dry. We're not going to get any remnants from this. I know some of you are like, well, we need the rain. This is unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but it's not really we change anything. So, I don't know why people like to, to bitch about it all the time. It doesn't... Or, or bits to me about it. I can't change it. So it's, it is what it is. I'm just a, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you the way it's going to be and why it won't happen. Uh, and do we need the rain? Sure. I will agree with that, but whatever. Um, this is what I deal with <laughs> social media. So this will just dissipate here over the weekend and this ridging is going to remain intact. It looks like going straight in early next week. So we're going to remain warmer than average this entire period, but we are going to looking to remain dry this entire time. I'm going to take you through the entire loop here. You can see this thing just, uh, dissipating over the western portions of the Tennessee Valley and just goes into nothing, nothing at all. But that entire time, this is all the way through Monday, nothing here in our area whatsoever. So it's going to be partly to mostly sunny, more partly cloudy once we get to the weekend or second half of the weekend early next week, but mostly sunny on most other days during that period this week and a continuation of what you've already seen now, just a little bit warmer each day. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for September 10th, 2024. Have a great Tuesday.